Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. It's October 11th, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Baber from BAM's uh, Secondary and Primary Pricing Desk. Thank you for joining me, Brian. Um, there's lots to talk about. There's a lot of activity in the market this past week, even more coming up next week. Let's start with interest rates. They nudged higher this week, following along with Treasuries. What was driving that? Uh, yeah, you know, there was uh, a, a pretty decent uh, macro landscape for Treasury rates overall. Uh, we definitely backed up. Uh, it's still a moving target <laughs> as of right now, but uh, to the tune of uh, about 18 to 20 basis points in oh. 10 and 30 year Treasuries. Um, you know, a big part of that has to do with um, uh, some pretty benign um, inflation data. Both CPI and PPI were a little bit lower than expected. And then a lot of progress uh, talks between U.S. and China on a trade deal, um, you know, combine that with some other global factors and, and treasuries uh, definitely sold off a bit. Um, equities had a much stronger back end of the week. So um, equity indices were moving higher Wednesday to Friday. Um, so all of that kind of definitely helped rates drift higher. Uh, on the muni side, uh, big outperformance for most of the week. Uh, for, you know, through before today, uh, muni rates were basically unchanged, and the current read right now is about three to five basis points higher in yields uh, for tax exempt. So, and part of that is because underlying demand for munis remains very strong. I know Lipper reported the 40th consecutive week of inflows, and they were much higher than last week, yeah. like 1.4 billion almost. Yeah. Um, how did that translate into the new issue market? How are the uh, transactions priced? You know, another really strong week uh, on uh, on the muni front. Uh, deals were really well received. Um, uh, again, we continue to see a theme of a, a fairly healthy taxable supply in the muni space. So that also helped tax exempts from a technical uh, standpoint. Brings uh, in other buyers and additional yeah, sources. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so there was a lot of dollars chasing the deals that were available. Um, so again, that helped improve uh, ratios tax exempt to taxables pretty substantially during the week. So BAM priced more than $400 million of transactions, right? Uh, what were some of the highlights? Uh, yeah, we had a very busy week. Um, certainly, um, you know, uh, some of the highlights were uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, uh, which had a couple of series, over $125 million of that was taxable, uh, Inglewood, California, um, and then also a Benton, Washington uh, Regional Water Authority in Arkansas, which was actually BAM Green Star uh, as well as taxable. So kind of a double whammy on that. Um, and we, uh, you know, we saw uh, saw feedback that investor demand was very strong. Uh, again, uh, from the most part, uh, all deals performed well, but. Uh, spreads and rates uh, generally were bumped lower throughout the pricing process. On, that on Benton Washington sales. transaction was the largest BAM Green Star transaction year to date, and that's part of a trend. Uh, Romy Varghese from Bloomberg last week wrote an article about the growth in the Green Star, uh, the Green Bond market across the muni market. She said there were 1.9 billion dollars of Green Bonds sold in the third quarter. Uh, that's the largest third quarter uh, for that sector ever. Another 440 million uh, just going into last week. There are more Green Bonds on the slate for this week. You know, one of the things that we've heard from the Green Bond market is they think that more volume will translate to a premium pricing yeah. as liquidity gets demonstrated. So uh, this may be the time to test that. We hope so. So uh, market's staying busy next week despite the Columbus Day holiday. What's the total calendar look like? Uh, again, another uh, 12 plus billion dollar week, uh, even with the holiday shortened week. Um, it, you know, some of that is pretty concentrated. There's going to be uh, a large throughway deal uh, north of a couple billion dollars across a couple different series and liens. And that's worthy of talking about just because it, it's more evidence of just how extraordinarily uh, low this yield environment is. $1.6 billion of that, as I understand it, is refinancing a TIFI loan. It's a federal loan that's regarded as extremely low cost financing and the throughways is finding that in this market uh, regular bonds are even cheaper yeah so that's uh uh, yeah, so uh, away from that, you know, there's also some uh, some fairly concentrated healthcare deals and things like that. But you know, we'll have our eye on a couple of the larger uh, muni deal, muni traditional muni deals, uh, like Rutgers University uh, is pricing a large taxable deal. Pennsylvania Turnpike is pricing a large senior taxable deal. Uh, so we expect to have some conversations with some folks around uh, around those credits as well. Very good. So we'll look forward to uh, hearing how you do next week. Okay. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A guaranteed. 
BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM.